Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray. Here's what's happening. A homicide investigation now underway after a man was shot and killed on 12th Street near C Street in Sacramento yesterday. Here's what we know. Police got a call about a shooting just before 6.30 last night. When they got to 12th and C, they found a man had been shot. He later died. Police are still looking for people that may have seen something. Marches, speeches, even a wellness expo all happens today in Sacramento in honor of Dr. King. Downtown and North Sacramento expect to see thousands of people in the streets. Video from last year's events, three separate marches, and several events will be happening throughout the day. Check out abc10.com for more information. A body found in a submerged Chevy Camaro in Sutter County over the weekend has been identified as a 22-year-old from Elk Grove. The CHP says the Camaro went underwater uh, after on Pleasant Grove Boulevard. The 22-year-old apparently drove past road closure signs that warned of a flooding. Once the Camaro hit water, it flipped over. And SAC Metro firefighters say he's just lucky to be alive. Somebody walking by a man's home in Arden noticed smoke coming from the home. So they knocked on the man's front door, woke him up from a nap. There was a fire in the man's living room, at, which is where he was sleeping. Firefighters later said they were able to contain the fire just to the man's living room. All right. For hopefully good news in the weather department, here's Rob. All right, I know what you mean, because in California, we love the rain. And then it rains for two days, three days, then it rains over a weekend, and then everyone says, we love the sun. So guess what, folks? That's what you're going to get for probably the rest of this month. Yeah, this is a long stretch, so let's get into it. First of all, we had through the morning hours some nice clearing and then going into the deep afternoon. More sun than clouds. They're still kind of lingering around, especially for the mountains. Uh, but just give it basically one day to reboot and reset, and we, we are good to go. We've got lots of sunshine ahead. No major weather changes. The only thing you kind of look for, just in case, if everything lines up right, is early morning fog. That's a possibility tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. It's not widespread, dense everywhere, problems, issues. I do think, though, that we're going to see some patchy fog each and every morning in some spots, the usual suspects. And then we're going to see more warming each and every day going through the weekend. And then next week, more of the same. What's remarkable about this is that, you know, when it's 63, that doesn't look like it's all that warm. But in the wintertime, with the sun at your back, it certainly does feel way different than what we've been through with a lot of snow and a lot of rain. But the next week or two, dry and sunny.